Now, she's just coming into Downing Street now. Here comes the Prime Ministerial Rover, bearing now Mrs. Thatcher as Prime Minister. And Mrs. Thatcher out onto the, onto the doorstep. How do you feel at this moment? Very excited, very aware of the responsibilities. in a jungle, I mean, uh, human beings. This film just presents a very extreme case where one man goes off, as the line is, beyond the pale of norm normal human restraint. He goes too far. He's destroyed by it. Officials say that the crash of Flight 191 was as bad as it was because the DC-10 was so big. It's one of the wide-body jets that are known as Airbuses in the airline industry. Rich Samuels looked into the DC-10's history and safety record. He's at O'Hare with this live report. Rich? Now worldwide, more than 270 are in service. It's a massive aircraft, 181 feet from nose to tail, 155 feet from wingtip to wingtip. of the commercial vessel Nostromo. A word of warning. A word of warning. A word of warning. Alien. No question about that. The center of attention of 350,000 people, but he doesn't like parties. It looks like he would be the second youngest winner ever of the Indianapolis 500, the youngest having been Troy Rutman. And there's Mike Mosley. Well, he's having a little fun unlapping himself there. Radio City's grandeur is breathtaking and timeless. To this day, it remains one of America's architectural masterpieces. But by the late 1960s, all the other great movie palaces had disappeared. And Radio City, still a jewel, but now a frayed and tarnished jewel, was becoming obsolete. It didn't help that management, in an era of increasingly edgier filmmaking, refused to keep up with the times. I'm announcing the closing of Radio City Music Hall. I just stood there with my mouth open, I guess, in shock. And I think I still am in shock. It was the Rockettes who came to the music hall's rescue. The women took the battle to the streets. Going out in front of the music hall between shows and getting average people, the people who had been filling the theater seats for decades, 
to help them fight to save it. As part of the deal to rescue Radio City, movies which had saved Radio City in its earliest days were largely dropped, and in their place would be Roxy's original vision, a theater dedicated to the ultimate in entertainment, presenting the world's greatest holiday shows and the world's biggest actors.